Residents are suing Poway Unified School District. They say the district violated California law while trying to sell 27 acres of land. That land was supposed to be turned into a middle school, but now the district wants to use it to help its troubled financial situation. The district was moving toward a lease agreement for a new Costco shopping center on that site before the legal fight began to brew. Our investigative partners at iNewsource have taken a deep look at the issue. Joining me now is senior investigative reporter and assistant editor Brad Racino to talk more about it. Brad, thanks for joining us. As always, this has really come to light over the last few months, but has been developing actually for years. Can we start with the piece of land in question? Why did Poway Unified have it and why did they want to lease it to Costco? Yeah, so first it's important for context to point out that Poway Unified is facing a very large deficit and they really need money. And so there's this plot of land that's been sitting vacant for a very long time. And it was, as you said, originally intended for a new middle school. But as time went on, the district looked at their enrollment projections and realized that a new school wasn't really needed anymore. Plus, they didn't have the money to build it. So a few years ago, the district started talking about how to make money from this land. And they eventually sent out requests for proposals to a hundred or so developers, and in the district's opinion, Costco actually came back with the best offer, which was to pay Poway $106 million over 40 years to lease the land and build a Costco along with some restaurants and shops. So we see what their plan is to gain some revenue and what to do with the property. What are the arguments against this proposal? Why are people upset? Yeah, so there are a, a few arguments, actually. One is that the site was intended for a new middle school, and area residents do pay special taxes uh, meant for school improvements. And if those taxes aren't being used towards school improvements, they're saying, why are we paying them? Uh, the other argument, which is now part of the lawsuit, is that the district committed several violations of the state's open meeting law when it was considering the proposals. The nonprofit community group that filed the suit also says the district failed to conduct an environmental review of the Costco proposal as required by state law. And Poway Unified disputes those things. The district says they did everything publicly and that they're not required to do an environmental review. Uh, but the last argument that opponents have is that it's actually a bad financial deal. The community group hired their own financial advisors who crunched some numbers and basically found that when all said and done, the Costco deal isn't that great compared to the value of the land. So where does this go from here? Uh, the district, I understand, has kind of put a pause on moving forward as these concerns have risen. Uh, are they going to just play a game here, listen a little bit, move forward? What's going to happen? Yeah, so the district has responded to the community groups and to the reporter on this story for us, Jennifer Bowman. The associate superintendent at Poway Unified told Jennifer, look, we've been discussing this at public meetings for years. We haven't broken any laws and we don't need the land for a school. And the alternatives to make up some of the district's deficit could include things that the community might not like, like bigger classroom sizes and furloughs, and that's not a very attractive option. So right now the district is reviewing the community uh, group's financial analysis, and last month, Poway Unified did decide to halt any decision making on the land for 90 days. And the district says it's going to continue to brainstorm with the, the community group about possible alternatives for the site. And they have scheduled two community meetings about it for next month. Sounds to me like it's their bailout plan for previous financial decisions. Not putting words in your mouth here, Brad. Brad Racino with iNews Source with this investigation into this Poway Unified plot of land that could end up being a Costco. Thanks again for all your time, Brad. And it's iNewsSource.org. Everyone check them out. Thanks for having me.